You were the lead detective in the case? Yes, sir, that's correct. So the overall responsibility for the investigation would fall to you, is that right? Yes, sir, it should. <clears throat> How many witnesses did you interview yourself in this investigation? I spoke to a um, Cater Donaldson for a few minutes. Did you do a thorough interview of her? No, sir. She was too emotional to talk to at the time. Did you do a thorough interview of Mr. Stevens? No, sir. I did not. OK. Who did you do thorough interviews of? Brent Butler. OK. Anybody else? Mm. No, sir. So you have this young fellow in there. He was put in a locked room, right? Yes, sir. OK. Uh, sound resistant locked room, right? Yes, sir. Nobody in there, is it? No. Extremely serious. I actually married a friend of mine. Just measuring, it's about 10 by 10. So you have this young fellow in there, and you're asking him questions, and he's telling you, I was home, and I had yogurt, and did these things, right? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be relatively simple to go out and ask his parents, was he home? Yes, sir. Did you do that? No, I didn't. Well, you do a thorough, competent, meticulous investigation, right? Uh, overrule. Have some leeway there. Is that right, sir? I uh, tried to, yes, sir. Wouldn't it be thorough and competent and meticulous to just drive out there or pick up the phone and say, can you tell me what your son's activities were today? If you saw him, when you saw him, what was he wearing? Could you have done that? Yes, sir, I could have. Why didn't you? Well, I was in the process of interviewing him. I had a positive ID, and I had parents that told two detectives that are on my team that they had seen their son a few or 30 minutes prior to them arriving. He had he wasn't he was in our custody at that time, and the okay, wait parent, a I'm sorry. And the parents had also said it wasn't unusual for Brenton to leave early in the morning without them seeing him. Okay, you know you didn't have a gun. You know you didn't have a purse. You knew you didn't have any money. You knew you didn't have a fisherman's hat, right? That's all correct. OK. Did you ask Brent, can I go search your house, your room? No, sir, I did not. Did you get a search warrant for his house? No, sir, I did not. You wanted to find a gun and a purse and bloody clothes and everything else, right? Yes, sir. Would have been nice. So why not get a search warrant? Well, we just sit and get a search warrant. OK. Did you go out and knock on any of the neighbor's doors and say, excuse me, did you see Brenton Butler outside of his house between 7 and 8 this morning, or 6 and 8? That's right, I did not. OK. You didn't do that, Mason? No, sir. Do you consider that thorough and confident? Perhaps I should have done it, sir. 